Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this series of video, we are going to see about module 3 question bank with answer set 3 for 21 RMI 56 research methodology and intellectual property rights. Moving on to the video, first question, discuss the post grant aspects of patenting such as validity of patent protection, post grant opposition and strategies for commercializing a patent. So there are three questions inside one, one question. So here you can see validity of patent protection. So generally for patent, it is 20 years. The day you file the patent, file the application for the patent, from that date till 20 years is the validity for patent protection. And there are in, uh, renewable fees for every year to make sure that the patent, uh, patent is live. That fees depends upon what kind of patent we have applied and received. Post grant opposition. So after post grant, po, uh, post granting of patent, the applicant has to make sure that the applicant for the patent wrongfully obtained the inf uh, invention. That is, if suppose if they have wrongly attained the invention, then the court or the judgment or the appellate board has all rights to terminate the patent. And then that information can be claimed. Um, such that there is no innovative step taken or involved such that the patent is live in day to day till date from the date of application. So this is the pro post grant opposition. And what are all the strategies for commercializing a patent is nothing but the patent owner can give a license to the third party. If suppose the patent owner who is holding the patent is already working in an organization, then he has all rights to give the license to the third party to ensure that the patent or the product that is being developed is well sold and well maintained. Moving on to the next question, examine the need of inventor to consult a patent attorney or agent and what role do they play in patenting process. So we may all think why we need a patent attorney or agent. We ourselves can submit the application and get the patent granted. So it is not so you can do, yes, you can do, but then there are many complexity in filling the patent document. So obviously we need to take an advice from the patent attorney. So we call it as legal assistance. So legal, we have to get a advice from the legal assistance to file a patent in the particular, through particular forms. So what will be the role? So the legislation, uh, many countries have a legislation where the applicant can apply for a pattern using their original residency or if suppose they want to carry the uh, patent or the business in some other country based on the business uh, uh, business patent they can register it outside the country so all these can be done only through the patent attorney so that is the process uh, uh, the role of patent attorney involved in patenting process Moving on to the next question, investigate how to obtain worldwide patent protection and what consideration should be taken into account when deciding where to file a application. So what is worldwide patent protection? So it is not that there is a country wise patent or worldwide, there is no word called as world patent protection. It is where you register for the patent, the patent will be available in that country. If you're going to do business, you can uh, with the help of PCT, that is Patent Cooperation Treaty, you can get the license in different countries. So based on that patent protection, you have to obviously contact the patent office for registering worldwide patent protection. And what consideration has to be taken is based on Patent Cooperative uh, tr uh, Treaty. This is, uh, this is where this is going to tell you where it has to be filed, how it has to be carried out in a business. If suppose... I am owning a patent and I am a citizen of India. Then I need to register my patent in India and then through business I can register it in international way. That is done by Patent Cooperation Treaty. Moving on to the next question. Summarize different types of patent application in commonly used terms. So these are the four patent application provisional, ordinary, PCT and divisional application. So you have to write this and detailly explain what is provisional, ordinary and PCT. And then these are the terms. I have just listed out very few terms. There are a number of terms related to patenting. So inventor who innovates the 
idea applicant who submits the application patentee is nothing but who owns the particular patent that has been granted license is nothing but once the patent is granted the license has to be uh, got by the patentee to ensure that it is being protected assignee enforce working of patent so these are some of the terms that has been used in patenting process Moving on to the next question, examine the fee structure associated with patent application in various forms that need to be filed. So these are the various forms 1, 2, 7, 7, 8, 17 till 30. These are the different forms that has to be filled to ensure that you, you are granted with patent. And these are the application, different applic that is fee structures for these items, provisional and complete specification, request for examination for the complete process of patenting, different fee structure is available. Moving on to the next question, illustrate about utility models. What is utility model? It is nothing but it is a new innovation which carries over the existing product with the existing product creating a new innovation but you have to show that there is some technical improvement in that yes so novelty some novelty here this utility model is helpful for tools like micro small and medium enterprises to be set with a minimal cost so life of the utility will be Com uh, less than compared to the patents because it is going to have a innovative idea only with the existing products right additionally discuss the national bodies responsible for dealing with patent affairs so in india these are the four national bodies available indian patent office dpi it tifac and nrdc so these are the four national bodies which is responsible for dealing with all the patent related informations Hope you have understood these small, small tips. Please be stay tuned for more information. Thank you.